to relax and repower. That's what the Queens Village Toledo says it is hoping to provide for black women. This afternoon we have Crystal King and Mary Peavy with us so we can learn a little bit more about what you all are doing at Queens Village. Thank you for being here today. Appreciate it. Thank you so Thank much you. for having us. Absolutely. So this is a really important group that you all have been working to build over the course of the last few years. Started out of Cincinnati. Tell me a little bit about how, how you all got started here. Yes, yeah, so it started in Cincinnati in 2018, and then it was brought to um, Toledo in 2021, and we started our community events in 2022 mm -hmm. because it did so well in Cincinnati. In Cincinnati, yes. so mm -hmm. I, you know, we were we were chatting a little bit earlier about the I think the the main issue why this was started, and it has to do with infant mortality because mm -hmm. unfortunately we were seeing in our communities the disparity between black women and white women and the amount of infant deaths we were seeing. So these are babies who didn't make it to their first birthday. Mm -hmm. So what I learned in some of the reporting I've done over the years is that a lot of it has to do with stress. Yes, right? exactly. So, so what are you doing, first of all, to identify some of the, the issues, some of the mm -hmm. problems, and what are you doing there at Queens Village to kind of help women navigate that? I think what's awesome is Actually, tomorrow, Friday, we have sister circles. And that's a place where women can come together um, and re exactly relax and refresh and repower. Mm -hmm. But it's also a space that's so unique because women are able to voice their feelings, their concerns, and not feel like they're being judged for how they feel. So I think within our community, the big thing is a lot of time they don't like to hear the word therapy when it's support. Um, we, we consider it like a support group. So that's awesome for us that they're able to come there and then we also see them coming back on a routine basis, mm -hmm. which is awesome. They also partake and do me, come to other um, events that we offer as well. So. Mm -hmm. Kind of let you talk about the other events. Yeah. <laughs> Some fun stuff happening yes. too, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so Queens Village is really like a unique way of addressing stress relief, a unique way of addressing, addressing infant mortality. Mm -hmm. And um, some of the events that we've done in the past are fitness classes. We've done um, Queens Night In, and that was um, just like a, a really nice time. It was around the holiday season. Mm -hmm. um, we did candle making before. We do a lot of um, like aromatherapy wellness um, mm -hmm. practices and things like that too, um, just to reduce that stress level. Um, and also try to do like practical ways of reducing stress. Um, and we'll highlight some of that for our upcoming events as well. Yeah, you know, mm -hmm. I, I think to provide this place where people can come, as you said, not feel judged mm -hmm. about how they feel about mm -hmm. things, but also be able to connect with other women who understand. Exactly, yes. exactly. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of times I think that um, some of the women that we see at our events, when they come to like the sister circles or some of the other events we have, they say that they feel so at ease when they come amongst us. And then I have seen that many of them link up afterwards, mm -hmm. which is awesome because they create their own way of um, having support. I think the other things like what Crystal was saying about some of the events that we have, we also do like financial workshops. Mm -hmm. um, so we definitely are looking at empowering those women from some of the things that they are doing and in getting them to another level and having them think outside of the box even. Mm -hmm. So I think what we're doing, we're looking at a, a, the black woman, like we're looking at it in all terms, all aspects of mm -hmm. those things that we can in, introduce them to that might be new and influence them on things that they can do these different connections with. That's what involved in our own community. Mm -hmm. We have a lot of, we are, Toledo is resource rich, but a lot of times we find that um, they haven't been connected to the source. Yeah. Mm -hmm. People don't, oh, that's available. I, mm -hmm. I didn't know. Mm -hmm. So you can serve as this place to connect women and also make it easier mm -hmm. too because I think that's part of stress too. Well, that that's a lot of work. You know, mm -hmm. I have to mm -hmm. reach out and do this and fill out this and, you know, so if you all can provide a, a, a place for that to all be for them. What is mm -hmm. it like, you know, to attend maybe one of these sister circles or, or some mm -hmm. of these events? How, how do the women 
walk away. They, you, do, do you feel like they, they, <laughs> they feel a yes, little bit lighter? Yeah? For sure. Um, I know I do too. <laughs> but um, I, well, for our sister circles, we come in, we, um, we've started this new practice of taking off our armor. So a lot of the times um, we have masks on, we have armors on for the outside world. But when we're in the space with Queens Village, we want to take all of that off and just um, be our authentic selves. We don't have any, we, we did a, um, an annual report last year, and one of the quotes was like, I don't have to wear any titles in Queens Village. I don't have to have the anxiety that I do out in the real world. Um, so that's just been um, a little like takeaway mm -hmm. from like what the women experience before and after. And of course, relieving stress is the big goal and we have been very successful in doing that. That's wonderful. Mm -hmm. You know, hopefully leading to uh, better outcomes when it comes mm -hmm. to pregnancies and, and mm -hmm. infant births and yes. reducing that gap in particular. Uh, when we're talking about three times uh, the rate, you know, between mm -hmm. black and white women, you know, closing that gap, but mm -hmm. also just making women feel better too mm -hmm. and, and helping them live healthier. Mm -hmm. full lives. So tell us again what time and where this next uh, Sister Circles coming up and how people can get involved mm -hmm. in that if they want to come out. Yes, yeah, so Sister Circles is every first Friday of the month mm -hmm. um, and it takes place at Solace Health and Wellness and that's 137 North uh oh, sorry. It's Michigan. on the screen, North, North Michigan. Michigan Street. Jot it down. <laughs> You're good. Jot that North down. North Michigan Street, <laughs> and um, and it's at 6 p.m. Mm -hmm. and it normally lasts an hour and a half to two hours. Okay. So. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So put it on your calendar tomorrow. Mm -hmm. we'll, we'll, we'll be the very next one. And if you can't make tomorrow, then you know it's the first Friday of the month. So yes. wonderful, ladies. Thank you so much for being here today and for doing what you're doing. It's really thank important. Thank you.